So here we are at Madison Square Garden in New York City on March 25th. It's Sunday. That's all I know. So we are here in New York City, and we are about to catch the biggest J-Rock event in four years, Lark on CL. And I'm here with Fixers artist Danny Kang. You got some interesting facts about this. Hello. Uh, yeah, they're the first J-Rock band to headline Madison Square Garden, and their first time back in the U.S. since 2004. Uh, this is all for their 20th anniversary. So... Very exciting show. So they're going to be supporting their new album, Butterfly, and we're going to be here interviewing fans, and after the concert, we're going to be giving you guys a little bit of our views of what we thought about it. What's your name? Suzanne. And where are you coming from? From Westfield, Mass., which is the Springfield area from Massachusetts. How long have you been a fan of uh, Lurk and Seal? J-Rock in about 05, and I found Lurk and Seal at the same time, so since about then. All right, so what's your name? My name's Jasmine. And where are you coming from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay, so you win the award for the longest distance so far. Whereabouts in North Carolina? Uh, Charlotte. Oh, the western part of the state. Oh, the, okay. So you're a little bit more than eight hours away. Yeah. <laughs> are you stay? Obviously, you have a hotel up here. Like, where are you staying? Are you staying close to the venue? Actually, I'm staying with relatives in Connecticut. Oh, wow. So she flew up here, then she goes to Connecticut, and then she's got to come down for the day. That's dedication. Uh, what's your name? My name is Emily. And you're, what's your name? I'm Kirsty. Where are you guys from? I'm from New York, New Jersey. So what's you guys' names? My name's April Gamble. My name's Ella Brown. And where are you guys coming from? Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah same place. Okay, uh, and uh, you actually said you were at the Blood Show. And uh, did you have fun at that? I did. Yeah, we did. The guy came right out into the audience. I actually pushed her into the lead singer. <laughs> did you have fun with that? Yeah, I was a little embarrassed because I wasn't sure. I was like, oh my god, I hope I didn't hurt him. <laughs> but it was fine. <laughs> I don't think he was hurt at all. Hayato's a pretty strong guy, so I don't think we need to worry about that. But uh, right now, you guys are here for Lark and CL. Uh, and do you, uh, do you have any um, crazy stories about getting down here or anything like that? Well, we almost took the wrong train, and then we had a problem with our hotel. We couldn't get a hotel room in time. And Where are you guys staying at now, then? A friend of mine's letting us stay with her in the Bronx. Really fun place. <laughs> that, that sounds like sarcasm. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your name? Uh, Yehuda. And uh, where are you coming from? Chicago. Chicago. I think Chicago is the winner right now. I think Chicago at this point is the furthest we've seen. Um, so coming from Chicago, did you make like a week out of this, or did you uh, like? Are you just here for the day? Like, what's your plan? No, I made a week out of it. I came in on Thursday, and I'm leaving Tuesday. Going, going to see another concert tomorrow. What are you seeing? Uh, Fade and Rise. They're playing a uh, Japanese benefit concert at the Webster Hall tomorrow. So, uh, other than the two concerts, are you doing anything else here in New York? Uh, you know, I have fr family and friends here. And, uh, you know, you got to do the shopping. You got to stop by, uh, you know, I stop by Tokyo Rebel every time I hear pick up some Sexpot revenge stuff. Yeah, Sexpot, you can't go without that. So, what's your name, Namaiwa? Junya. Uh, where are you coming from? Uh, I, I live in New York. Japan, I live in Osaka. Oh, really? So, um, how long have you lived in New York? Three months. Oh, <laughs> um, wh why did you move to America? I, I mean, I'm studying abroad in Nal. I went to school, so I want to go to college, so I moved here. Uh, I'm Laura Wargo. I'm Lindsay. Where are you coming from? Chicago. Chicago. Two more from Chicago. Okay, so. Um, you guys came all the way out here. Is this your first time seeing Lark, or did you see them uh, at Otakon back in 2004? I did not see them in 2004, no, so this is my first time seeing them. So we were very little in 2004, we couldn't really make Okay, okay. Um, uh, how about Hyde? Have you seen Bamps or his solo stuff uh, when they came over to America? No, I have not. This is my first time, and I'm incredibly excited. We're really excited, because we have not seen them live before at all, in any respect. So what's your name? Yumi, Nicole. And where are you coming from? New York, Queens. Queens. Okay, so you guys are coming from Queens. Not too far. Just just, just a quick train ride, right? Yep. All right. So um, how long have you guys been in the Larkin Seattle? Um, <laughs> as a fan? Yeah, as a fan. Then like um, maybe like two years now, three years. Okay, so you're relatively new. Okay. Um, what about you? Yeah, same. About. Uh, was there a specific song or a specific album or something that kind of made them like, you know, made you fans of them? I like the song My Dear, so and then it got me into like the whole band, so yeah. Oh, seventh Heaven. 
Uh, do you have any interesting stories on the way up here? Well, the only thing that really happened was my friend actually, while we were shopping yesterday, uh, got hurt a little bit. She ran into like a bookshelf at uh, Kinokuniya's, and like she's like she fell down the other day before that, so she's got like two or three bruises on her. <laughs> <laughs> and a broken foot. Hold on, your friend's actually off camera. Come on, come on. Let's see, let's see, let's see the pain you went through here. <laughs> She's just a little shy. <laughs> so, what's your name? Anna. And Anna, are you coming from North Carolina? Yes, sir. We actually uh, room together, so. Okay. Okay. So, uh, let, let, uh, can we see the bruises? Oh, that's that's an ouch. That's an out. That's like one of those nasty bruises. That's like got a little bit of red in it, and oh, so swollen like a baseball. Swollen like a baseball. How'd you bring the swelling down? I didn't. I just ignored it and continued walking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily the healthiest thing. <laughs> you you want to add anything, Dan? It's the uh, the power of Larkin Seal has brought it down. Got her got her over here safely. Well, I had to find a babysitter last minute for my kids, which was kind of hard. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why didn't you bring the kids? This is Larkin Ciel. They have school tomorrow. This is Larkin Ciel. <laughs> the bus doesn't leave until 6.20 in the morning, and I have no place to stay, so uh, I'm not keeping it on the road, on the street. <laughs> this is Larkin Ciel. Uh, my husband would kill me, and he's in the army, so he'd have the means. <laughs> Domestic abuse is very bad, ladies and gentlemen. No. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think it was Wednesday. I went to um, JFK Airport, and um, I waited for Larkin CL, and I waited for like six hours with her. And, um, you know, we thought they weren't going to come, but in the end they came, and I was like, oh, my God. And I was the only fan there, so. Oh, okay. And then um, Ken, the guitar guitarist, he gave me a handshake. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. So you gave them a nice little greeting off of the plane. Like, uh, were they were they kind of accessible, or were they like, oh no, not already? No, there was there's nobody there. There were no no bodyguards like the other airports, and it was you know I, they were accessible. So did uh, did Ken come over to you and be like, hey, how you doing? I was um I went outside with them and I followed them out and um Ken was standing there and he kind of I guess he knew I was behind him and he felt bad and so um he turned around and he was like oh you know I'll give you a handshake and I was like oh my god hi I love you <laughs> and then yeah then I cried. You have a little butterfly moment like oh my god, oh my god. I was so shocked it was like crazy I never thought I would see my favorite band up close like that. Uh, well you came all the way from Chicago any uh, good stories on the way back or way here? Um we got really lost we've been getting really lost for about a week now I mean spending time in New York's been pretty great on our way here we came from Jersey we're staying in Jersey and uh we're at the train station and I see someone wearing just a general anime shirt and I said hey uh you going to a concert they go yeah and we go is it Lark NCL and they go yep and they came, they'd come all the way from Mississippi it was just funny that we could oh, wow. immediately identify who they were it was pretty cool yeah, you can pick them out <laughs> pretty easily yeah I mean you have yeah, any stories no I mean like we've been together this whole time so same old I mean, transit system, totally bonkers compared to Chicago, so. Chicago. <laughs> Just getting drunk and ready to see <laughs> Lark NCL. Yeah. All right. Uh, how long have you uh, been a fan of Lark NCL? Forever, because I'm a work here, so. Have you seen Lark NCL before? No. Ajime, oh, first time? Yeah, first time. Uh, Charity boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything you're looking forward to at the show today? Punk and Seal. I, I want. I, they gotta play some Pumpkin Seal songs. They just got to. Um, I want to see them switch up the instruments and all that too. Absolutely. I mean, that's just like that. That's amazing talent right there. Um, pretty much any song. I love all the songs. I mean, Honey is one of them. But I suck with titles, so <laughs> there's quite a few I'm looking forward to. I'm a hope they're gonna play. So that's how you know it's a good band. Like, what's your favorite song? Everything. Hoping he'll do um, coming closer, but I don't know. That's one of my favorite songs of his, and my favorite song is Cape of Storms. I really hope he'll do that one, but I know he's probably not going to. Anything? Punk and yeah, CL. I mean, CL. that'd be really great if he does. I really hope they do Punk and CL. Second person. For Second person. Yeah, it's just say Punk and CL. Fourth Avenue Cafe is going back. Oh, yeah. That is my favorite song, but I mean. Everything like we've been fans since the very beginning. So, oh wow, right. We've been um, sitting in her room listening to their greatest hits since we were children. Just like, oh my God, I wish we were in America. I wish we could see them. And 
all of a sudden, like our spring break lined up when, for when this was happening. We're missing class tomorrow, first day of classes, to see Lark. Yeah, we're dedicated to not school, but Lark NCL, so we're really excited. As you should. You got a, like a favorite member? Hi. Yeah. My man, Cole. With the uh, eye patch on or off? I <laughs> patch on. <laughs> yeah. I love Hyde, actually. Everyone does. Um, Hyde. <laughs> just, just him. See, nobody says Yuki Hero. Come on, like, there's got, there's got to be some drummer fans out there. Yuki Hero. Hey, there we go. Somebody loves you. <laughs> uh, Tetsuya is actually my favorite. He inspired me to play bass guitar. Oh, you play bass? A little bit. <laughs> Now, now, do, uh, can we still call him Tetsu? Is that still is that still is that still politically correct, or is it Tetsuya now? I don't know. I think it depends on the person. I call him both. <laughs> because I know that they said you gotta say Tetsuya now, but I think everybody still still stuck on saying Tetsu. Yeah, I'm used to saying Tetsu. <laughs> it's hard to break habits. I see you also have a fan book. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Well, um, in 2009, for Vamps, uh, a fan made a book, right? And um, so I got the idea from her, and so I just did this yesterday. My sister, like, you know, sketched it out, and I painted it. And, yeah, I just want them to know that there are a lot of fans that were waiting for them in New York, and, you know, that they want them to come back. So, see, I said thanks for coming, and come back soon. Uh, can you hold it up for the camera? Very nice. And I put suitcases, so, like, this would be, like, Tetsu, Ken, Hyde, and Yuki. Hyde's not the smallest? <laughs> no, because <laughs> Yuki's so skinny, so... Oh, uh, okay. I haven't had a chance to see the glow stick. He busted out real quick. Yeah, I haven't, se I haven't seen this glow stick yet, but I've, I, I've been, everybody's been shouting, yeah, we got glow sticks! <laughs> Is it like Larkin Seal glow sticks? or? Ooh, they are! Larkin Seal branded. I think it's pink. <laughs> Uh, are you waiting for a specific song where you're going to break it out and be like, Woo! I got my glow stick! My dear, maybe? Okay. <laughs> song. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, yeah, uh, so we're going to be heading in in just a couple of moments. Doors are about to open. Guys, thank you very much. Please enjoy the show. All right, so the concert just let out, and wow! That was cool as shit, dude. That was an amazing show. Anyone that didn't come, you missed it. You missed out. That was one fucking good show. Can I say fucking? Yeah, you that was one fucking good show. <laughs> yeah, they had an incredible like uh, back display uh, with all kinds of imagery going on. The um, uh, all the stage shenanigans were great. There was pyrotechnics. Uh, you heard fireworks. Yeah, there was a lot of fireworks. Uh, they played pretty much every song you would want to hear. They played Niji. They played Blurry Eyes. They played. Uh, uh, what else did they play? They played Stay Away. Obviously, Ready, Steady, Go, and Driver's High at the end. Driver's High, yeah. They they pretty much played everything you wanted. And uh, there was also a lot of great crowd interaction. There was a lot of um, pretty much, um, what should I say? There was a lot of good crowd reaction. There was a lot of good interaction from the crowd. They were doing the wave. You know, they were waving their glow sticks all over the place. Uh, what was your... What was your high? Oh, you yeah, had the bananas. <laughs> Here, tell them about the bananas. Uh, so, uh, Tetsuya just brought out, kept bringing out these bananas um, and lollipops, kissing it and threw them into the crowd, which, uh, you know, they really dug. They didn't go very far, obviously, you know, although at one point he, like, over, you know, overhanded it, like, to the back. The squirt gun, he tossed it, and it landed in the sound booth. So the sound booth picked it up, tossed it backwards, and then landed in the lighting booth. <laughs> and so the lighting booth guy just kind of tossed it over to a fan. She was like, oh, my God! Um, uh, also, um, the intro to uh, My Heart Draws a Dream had this really bluesy uh, guitar solo from Ken. That was my highlight of the night. I absolutely loved that. Yeah, that... There are some really, really beautiful moments. Um, uh, Tetsuya with the bass, like did like an intro thing too, and um, they all, they all kind of had their moment at some point in the concert. Yeah, you know, they all had a moment to kind of just do their thing, you know, outside of a song. Yeah, so, like Yukihiro too. Yeah, it was. Um, wow, <laughs> wow, what a concert! Yeah. Uh, 
what was it? Uh, it was the fireworks there and Ready Steady Go. Actually, kind of, actually, kind of spooked me because I wasn't expecting them to be so loud. Because we saw some fire, we saw some sparks, but then it actually had fireworks. It went kapow, and I'm like, whoa! So, uh, what was what was the big highlight for you of the evening? What, what what do you think was the standout moment for you? Uh, I mean, I had like the uh, the fireworks are pretty damn awesome and Ready Steady Go. Like, you, there was it just had this boom that like you could feel it in your your loins. <laughs> Um, I, I did like I thought they weren't gonna play Blurry Eyes, and they brought it out at the encore. That was a lot, like I was really looking forward to that song. Um, I was kind of looking forward to uh, Daybreak Spell and Spirit Dreams aside. Didn't get didn't get to hear those, and I I was a little disappointed about that. But they pretty much hit the nail on the head with their song selection today. You heard everything else that you wanted to hear. Um, did you think there were, there was anything missing from the set list? Um, I mean they have so many songs. Of course, there's things missing, but. I, I can't complain about the set list. Also, when uh, Driver's High came up, before the song, you heard the uh, the engine roaring. Yeah. Everyone knew, and it just kept getting louder and louder and louder. Like, you, knew, and you knew it was coming. Everyone's like, oh, God, here comes Driver's High. Yeah, that, that, that really got me pumping. So, uh, overall, like, what did you think of the show? Like, uh, like where, where is this rate in uh, the J-Rock shows that you've seen so far? Um, I mean, it's kind of in a class of its own because it's not quite Visual K. It's a completely different venue. It's different, you know, a slightly different type of music. Um, but, it, you know, it's the first J-Rock band to be here at Madison Square Garden, and I think it lived up to that. Yeah, I think I think this is pretty high up there because this is actually my, uh, I think I said it before, this is my first stadium show since the first time I saw Lark back in 2004 at Oticon. And uh, pretty much, I, you know, for the sheer... Um, stage performance, you know, the, the stage show, the band, I, it's it's pretty high up there for me in terms of all the J-Rock shows that I've seen, probably, and probably in, in terms of showmanship, uh, extremely high up there in terms of uh, all the concerts I've seen in my life, because you had, you had that really great video backdrop, the pyrotechnics, the fireworks, um, the, the band interacting with the crowd, trying their best to uh, speak English, you know, Ken saying, I went to the Natural Museum of Art because, or na Natural National National Art Muse uh, Museum, National Museum. Museum. Museum of History, and because I like Night at the Museum, <laughs> and it was talking about his cab ride and stuff like that. And it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. They had, but well, you could tell that they had a real good time at the show. So overall, fantastic show. They put on a great performance. I was really happy to be here to see it. I'm sure you sh share the same sentiment, right? Exactly. Yeah. So. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. We good? We good? Okay, okay. Uh, all right, I just got droided. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh... Aaron's going to be here at about 7. Uh, don't know if I'll see you before the show, but definitely after stupid assigned seating. Okay. Yes, assigned seating sucks. I prefer general admission because at least you have a fighting chance to get up front. <laughs>